Thanks for tuning over to ClickOrlando.com. I'm Danny Trainer, and this is what's going on weather-wise. Well, you know how hot it was today? It was at least that hot, 92 degrees. And um, while I don't think we'll quite make it that on Sunday, we're going to get close. It's still going to be probably around 90 degrees. Humidity will be different because we've got some drier air that's pushed in. But that's a very temporary thing, as you know. This time of year, we're starting to talk about maybe possibly afternoon and evening thunderstorms. So a little bit of flare-up here and there on Saturday, but Sunday looks like void, nothing going on. But check this out. Over here around Texas, things are starting to bubble and boil. And as the time wears on as we go through Monday and Tuesday. This will grow. A lot of the storm action will head on off to the northeast, but some of it will drag itself across the Gulf of Mexico, pick up more moisture, and maybe throw some impulses and moisture in our direction, increasing our chances of rain, especially by the time we reach Tuesday, where we jump to 40% chance of rain. And then by Wednesday, we're up to 50% chance of rain. And hang on, I want you to see the long range forecast because the chance of rain is going to stick around for a while. Here's what's going to happen. Here's that storm system. It heads on off that way. But like I say, the tail end of it and impulses from it could help generate more activity for us. A lot of times what happens is these things head our way. And this time of year, they're not strong enough to push all the way through. And we're not strong enough to push them all the way back. So they kind of sit around and destabilize the atmosphere and give us a pretty good shot at some rain for an extended period of time, especially as we work our way through the remainder of next week. For tomorrow, it still looks like, like easterly winds will help out. It's going to be hot, good for boating. It doesn't look bad. As we go through the overnight hours, I don't see anything really, really happening. There may be some showers linger along the coastline. That's not a big deal. Tomorrow afternoon, the winds will switch to a more easterly direction. If there's some rain out there, it could blow it on shore. Not very likely. A lot of the action will be down over South Florida for tomorrow. But Monday, we start putting that 20% back in, and we are up to 40% by Tuesday. If you want to go out to uh, do some boating tomorrow, not bad. Sea is 2 to 3 feet. Water temp for your toes around 77 degrees, which is more important if you're doing some, uh, you know, surfing. For your boating pleasure, light chop on the, sur on the surf. The seas are running about 1 to 2. Not bad. Good boating conditions. Mild temperatures overnight, and they'll be dropping down into the 60s. Now, that can be free air conditioning. But remember that low temperature is at 7 o'clock in the morning. Here's what's going on hour by hour tomorrow. <phone rings> temperatures reach 89 degrees. Well, we start at 69. Look at that. We put 20 degrees on by 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That should be the peak temperature for tomorrow. Maybe we won't reach that 92 like we did on Saturday. Sunday for tomorrow, 20% chance of rain on Monday. Tuesday, there's a 40% chance of rain, but check this out. 50%, 50%, 50%, and then Saturday, we may be talking about a soggy, wet weekend. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Danny Trainer.